there's always something going on. People jump around the town. And, uh, he barely gets around the I've been trying to get you here for six years now. Yeah, you're a busy, busy <laughs> guy. Apparently I am very yeah, busy. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, but you, let's let's find out about Matt Sullivan, then we're going to talk about Spark because sure. I'm uh, from Long, originally from Long Island and yep. been in career in newspaper for oh since high school. Um, yeah. yeah, I started a small paper in um, in Manhattan actually interning when I was 17. Oh wow! And uh, they were so strapped for people that I got my name on the front page in my <laughs> second or third week, and I said, "This is fantastic." Yeah. And clearly in Manhattan, you know, on top of yeah, that. you yeah. got the little yeah. picture too. Yeah, I nice. occasionally, and I say, <laughs> I, "Well, not the one we have here, but uh, yeah, clearly." So yes, yeah, so I've been involved in it for yeah. a long, long time. Yeah, because journalists, that's a you know, that's that is a tough career for people. I mean, I've got to know a lot of people that got journalist yeah. degrees and everything, but coming out and and getting started and then moving ahead in in that field is uh you you you've been blessed <laughs> it's tough but clearly the money makes it all worth it yeah no, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just, that's no. what we say about this <laughs> exactly right no uh yeah I, I respect the heck out of a lot of journalists they do a lot of great work at the news journal and that kind of stuff i think they're really important work for that which they get very little credit right now i get to work in an industry in, in for a publication where i get a lot of credit right and it's, it's awesome and, and we have to write a lot of positive stuff uh, and, and that's great, but the people who do the hard work are, are really the folks who have to, you know, the daily work at the news journal and that kind well, of stuff. Dig, dig for stories and stuff. Did you, yeah. did, do you miss that? I mean... Yeah, I, I certainly do. I mean, I had a, I had a fun career for uh, yeah, I was gonna say that, what it was before I got here. And, uh, yeah. We did a lot. We did occasionally some important stuff of the papers I worked with. Yeah, and, and well, was, you, you had to have done pretty well, I guess, to because uh, you went from there to uh, become a city editor. I, I was. I was city editor. I was uh, one of the editors um, in Binghamton, New York, uh, straight through from the 2000 election to 9/11 and everything that happened in that two or so years. So uh, I saw. I covered some of the, the stories of our time. In right. The time right, I got to do right. that, and That'd it was be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a great time. It, yeah, yeah. And, and follow that and show some different things out. But yeah. then, then all of a sudden, whose whose brain came up with? Was because I, I don't know. Did you say, "Hey, I got an idea, and I, I think we can do it"? Wilmington, Delaware. You know, they brought me in really late in the game. Yeah. I, I was hired four weeks before the first issue came out. Oh wow! So the the, the great brains behind Spark were uh, the former online director of the News Journal, uh, with Michael Manus, and Holly Norton, who's now the assistant editor, who were right. the two people who really pushed it forward for a year before I got here. And they spent a lot of time thinking about stuff and working out and doing prototypes and that kind of stuff. And and the last person they had to hire for <laughs> was my position. <laughs> and I he gave it and stole all their work. Well, I'm here. Yeah, good and, job. <laughs> and, and the four weeks before we launched were fascinating because I, they, people kept asking me questions I had no idea the answer to. And, and they would say, you know, what do, should we do? And I would say, what do people usually do? And they would tell me, and I'd say, do that. Because this, so. this was di different. I mean, it, this was a, 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 a spinoff from the News Journal, yeah. uh, I, I guess. You take taking the entertainment section of it. And, but it's still... Well, no, I mean, we did, nothing came out of the News Journal. I mean, right. everything the News Journal does and does well is Because it's 55 there. hours, yeah. it's still and there. And that, and I guess that, that's what I always thought when they did this, started doing it. It was more uh, thicker, 50, but it's not. It's completely different. Uh, we, it was, it's, it's a different vibe. It's a different... There's a different reason for it to be yeah. uh, and uh, it certainly maybe a little bit of a younger demographic yeah I was gonna say definitely uh, it's younger and certainly and you know we've been mm. around for six you years you kind of do that with a sticker and smile there yeah, right? well yeah. no it's, <laughs> we're, we've been around six years we're kind of establishment now you know people forget in the first couple of years we were occasionally scandalous right, right. Know, we, we got thrown out of places for having covers that people just you know couldn't tolerate oh and, wow I, I uh, no yeah, we, our first year um, we did a cover a story on tattoos and the attractive woman with that tattoo on our cover got us thrown out of Starbucks. Uh, so, uh, and, and we have, I got a number of places I could go down the list. I drinking coffee because of that. Yeah, because, <laughs> because the distribution, I mean, the, the thing about it is, it's, it's free on newsstands. Yep. If, you, if you're not aware of it, if you just moved to the area or whatever, it's the Spark magazine. Uh, it comes out on a weekly basis, uh, usually out on, on the streets on all shelves by Wednesday. Yep. Uh, and you can pick it up at uh, different, different restaurants, bars, uh, liquor stores, I mean, it, yep. and, and, uh, but not at Starbucks. Anymore. That's basically no. We actually were back in Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you put them but, on the cover. Uh, but we were, we were, oh, we're very friends with Starbucks now. But um, yeah, that's 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 basically where you can get us: the bars, restaurants, liquor stores. That's but it, I find it, I, I find because because other say, places too. We say it's the the uh, the younger generation, but I find that the older generation is picking it up. 
and kind of reminiscing and saying, you know, because you, I, I love the picture yeah. section you do at the very beginning. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say I read a whole lot of articles and everything. I've read, I've, I've read a couple of things that. Uh, it's Holly, like Playboy. He buys it for the articles. <laughs> no, I don't touch that magazine. So <laughs> don't put me there. But I, I, I love it because you got you guys get out and around yeah. and, and about and and show what's happening here in, in the area. Definitely, and I think we're for anyone who cares about that. I mean, I, I, we don't define ourselves by an age group. We define ourselves by people who are interested in going out, knowing what's going on in Delaware, and celebrating what's good about what's happening in Delaware. And that's, you know, that goes, we, we call it spillover in both directions from our demographic. But there's people of all ages who read Spark. I, I will say that we concentrate the content on a certain age group. Right, right. And, and that's true. Now, I, I notice, because it's not just a, uh, that you're going to find Wilmington in here, but you're going to find a, more of a, uh, like, the, I guess, the region here, because you'll, you'll see what's happening in, uh, you well, know. Well, look, the, I mean, the, the great part about being in Delaware is you're close to so much on the East Coast. Right. And we try not to ignore that. So we make sure that we had something in there every week. If you want to take a day trip to New York or to Philly or to D.C., there's, you know, two hours away from the biggest cities on the East Coast, and we know that happens. Most of what we do, though, is Delaware-centric, and we, and, and we want to make sure people realize that all the great things that are happening in Delaware on a weekly basis and, and try to get as much of them as we can in there. Yeah, it's no, like there's something for everybody. You know, you have the cooking things, you have the, the, the movie reviews, like the little, if they don't know where to find something, they can write in, you guys But what, what amazes me is being able to do what you guys are doing with the staff that you have. I mean, because I look at the staff, I, and, and you guys should showcase it. Is this pretty much... And, you know, there's people who think that there's more of us than that, yeah. and that, that is it. Well, that's that what I was going to say. Folks. That's, uh, yeah, I, I, and, I've, I've, I've met uh, quite a few of them and everything, and it's pretty much yeah. you guys. That, and, and to get this thing, do you have it laid out? I mean, I guess you got an idea, okay, this is the layout of the magazine. Now we got to fill this, this, this with... Yeah, I mean, we have our standard departments. We know what we're going to do in a given week. But, I mean, I, I take nothing away from... The, the work that my staff does. It's a Herculean job to get that thing together every week. Yeah. The photos. And the I want to talk about stories and how you guys find stories that go in here. Okay. They're telling me i got to take a quick break. So we're going to take a quick break and then come back. We're going to talk some more about Spark. that you can get on newsstands free of charge. So be sure to pick one up today. We'll be right back right after that.